Hi, my name is Luke and I'm from Adrenaline Melbourne and I want to talk about carrying all your gear from the parking lot down to the lo dive location. I feel like you just have so many little pieces, mass and snorkel, your gloves, catch bags, floats, float lines. By the time you get to here, it's really hard to get your gun in there and a pair of fins. So how do we pack this all really nicely that you can hike up to a kilometer to a real good dive spot? Um, first thing is a very, very simple catch bag. And these mesh catch bags are excellent for lobsters, abalone, small fish, anything like that. Um, but also just putting your stuff into. The reason why I like to take one is when it's trailing around behind the float and there's nothing in it, there's no drag. So it's not pulling you down current or anything like that. Um, you might think you would attach the catch bag and the float like that, but you'll find that it's gonna hang down quite a bit. So I just grab a couple little parts in there um, and then it's all kind of tied up together. Next part is your float line, which there's shark clips on either end. So it's very easy to just attach a shark clip to the other shark clip or in an eye anywhere. And that's all attached there for you. Um, the last little part I do is the shark clip at the back of my gun. I can hook this whole mess to it really nicely and it's all attached there. So if I'm gonna take a long walk, I'm usually not wearing the top part of my wetsuit, just long johns. And I roll that top part onto my shoulder and then I can throw this gun onto there and go take a walk for a really, really long time. Fins, it's pretty simple. You just chuck them right under your arm. And sometimes I have my hand resting on my weight belt, just holding everything right into place. But it's very simple. You're almost hands-free with your equipment. You have everything braced, ready to go for a long walk. So that's how you kit out all your gear. Um, and packing your catch as well. After you get a whole bunch of fish, you can have your fish tied up right in this configuration and they're not dragging and you're not dropping stuff along the way. So that's how to keep all your stuff intact.